to present the music scoring awards. We have Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke, the most, the most famous dropouts in the history of television. In fact, they're the only two people who ever fired a sponsor. They won just about every award in the business, and if they win an Emmy for their appearance here tonight, I'm really gonna quit. Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke. Well, it's uh, kind of exciting being again uh, together again, isn't it, Twiggy? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Me either. <laughs> well, I guess now we know what Carl Reiner did yes. on the show, don't we? <laughs> so, let's read the nominees for the best original score of the year. I, uh, I lost the list. I see. <clears throat> It's in there. Carl's writing. Oh, hi, Carl. The uh, nominees are Toshiro Mayazumi for the Bible. John Barry for Born Free. Elmer B Bernstein for Hawaii. Jerry Goldsmith for the Sand Pebbles. Alex North for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Please give Miss Moore the envelope. <laughs> the winner is John Barry for Born Free. Accepting the award on behalf of John Barry is Paul Radin. The producers of Born Free join you of the Academy in paying honor to John Barry, a fine composer, and he in turn has asked them to say thank you. The nominees for Best Scoring of Music, Adaptation, or Treatment are Ken Thorne for A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, Luis Enrique Bacalo for The Gospel According to St. Matthew, Elmer Bernstein for Return of the Seven, Harry Soupman for The Singing Nun, Al Ham for Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. The winner, please. Ken Thorne for A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Don Black will accept the award for Ken Thorne. On behalf of Ken Thorne, I'd like to say thank you very much to all the members of the Academy. Thank you. Now to present the best award for the best song, we have a real triple threat man. He's a singer, he's a comedian, and he's an international spy. In East Berlin, he's known as Matt Helm. In West Los Angeles, he goes under the name of Dean Martin. Well, congratulations, you made it. How are you? How oh, am I? I've been waiting so long, I sobered up twice. I am. Uh... Oh, I am. I wish I knew. I. Uh... Are we in East Berlin or uh, West Los Angeles? We're in Santa Monica, Dean. Well, then call me Matt. Are you on duty tonight? No, but I got a hot tip there after Elizabeth Taylor. No. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They're going to smuggle her measurements to Hong Kong and turn out some cheap imitations. <laughs> I'll take one. I'd like it monogrammed. Yeah? You know, Dean, it's amazing how this new career has opened up for you. Everybody's saying you're the logical successor to James Bond. What do you mean successor? I'm the original 007. You are? Sure. Last time Jeannie said to me, guess what? I said, uh-oh, seven? <laughs> yeah, seven. That's hard to believe. Dean Martin was seven up. Now, <laughs> pay attention, everybody, because I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to read the best nominees for the, I don't know, the score, sorry. You guys too? <laughs> scoring, 
song. S O R U N G. Now there are some. Uh, we got some surprises. Not on the list, but in the way I read the nominees. Now, <laughs> nominees are Bert Bacharachy or something, and Hal David for Alfie, John Barry, and Don Black. That was easy for Born Free. Tom Springfield and Jim Dale for Gregory Girl. <laughs> Georgia Girl. Okay, Elmer Bernstein, Mac David for My Wishing Doll, and Johnny, oh, four guys wrote this last one, Johnny Mandel and Paul and Francis and Webster. <laughs> Time for love. So you got a letter from me or something? <laughs> I don't go to these things too much. Where, what happened? Whip it out and I don't have glasses. Oh, the winners are John Barry and Don Black for Born Free. Accepting the award is Mr. Don Black. On behalf of John Barry, I'd uh, just like to thank Mr. Carl Foreman and Donnie Kirshner and all the uh, members of the Academy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.